primary objective of the Canvas program was to examine the effects of canagliflozin compared to placebo on a hard cardiovascular outcome, and that was the composite of vascular death non-fatal stroke or non-fatal myocardial infarction. What we showed there was a, a hazard ratio of 0.86 with a confidence interval going from 0.75 to 0.97. What that means is that we clearly proved our primary hypothesis of safety and we also demonstrated superiority. So we showed that the drug protects against this serious cardiovascular outcome. about 16 hospitalizations for heart failure, about 17 major declines in renal function, and we caused about 15 amputations. Now, 10 of those amputations would have been of the toe and the forefoot, and five of them would have been above the level of the ankle. So we believe that for most patients with diabetes who are at high risk, there's gonna be a net positive uh, benefit risk ratio, but there's going to be a subset of patients who are at very high risk of amputation uh, for whom this is probably not going to be the drug of choice. Um, Canagliflozin has got this increased risk of um, uh, amputation. Uh, the, I think that the interesting question is going to be whether this turns out to be um, a drug-specific effect or a class effect. Uh, we know that in the Canvas program we collected data in a, in a really detailed, really careful way and we've yet to see comparable data from the other programs and this is reflected uh, in the European Medicines Agency advisory which basically says look you've got to look out for this with canagliflozin but you also need to be wary about amputation with the rest of the class until we get better data.